Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Morgan Russell, and today I have brought my Mox, my uh, my three planes: the Messerschmitt, the Stuka, the Spitfire, the S and these five armored vehicles here. Uh, I'm a very big fan of the German armor. Uh, I have a bias towards them. <clears throat> uh, and for the tanks, I really, I especially like the German camouflage. So I modeled them after that. Although, except for the Nash horn, that one's just plain. However, I do have an allied vehicle, T-34, in winter camouflage. And I even have the Spitfire in camouflage as well. But the rest, the two other planes are fairly plain. <laughs> two planes are plain. <laughs> no pun intended. As far as tips go, I would say if you want to make, if you want to make what you want to make, then look, then I would suggest that you look at other people's models. That way you can find inspiration and influences as to exactly how you want to shape it and uh, you know, just learn uh, techniques really from looking at other uh, mock builders on Flickr. Probably my favorite is the King Tiger. I especially like the the way I made the treads, uh, the spare treads, be attached. I basically just cut some flex tubes and then used one of the uh, special modified bricks with the hole in the center to attach them. And if you really want to make your model stand out, I suggest you make some decals. That way they really pop up and add authenticity. This has been a great experience here at Bricks by the Bay. Uh, I've been able to meet many other mock enthusiasts, World War II military builders enthusiasts, and it has been a lot of fun and I highly recommend to anyone out there who's building that you can certainly build this stuff too. It just takes time and patience to get the parts and the skills.